Hello everyone, my name is Anton and today I want to get into links within Obsidian. But before I get into the links and before you forget, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the channel. Now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into links. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new note here. And with Obsidian, you can leverage the markdown formatting. Now let's go ahead and we'll zoom in a bit here on this here. And the default formatting for Markdown, you will use the square brackets. Let's put in an alias here, and then we'll do brackets, and we'll type in a URL, say, to YouTube. And this link will open up an external link. Let's go ahead and do a split screen here, and go into the preview mode. Let's collapse this. And if I was to click on this, it would just open up a, a web browser to this particular URL. Now we can also link to files local to your system. So let's do my image, same formatting here. And within the brackets here, we will type the full path to the actual file. Now we have this image.png. If we hover over it here, we can see the uh, preview of that image. And if you click on the link, it will just open up the image. Now we can go into the, the link format that Obsidian uses, which is the wiki link format. And if we use the double square bracket, then what happens is you're presented with the actual options of notes that you already have within your vault or we can type the name of maybe a test file where there is no actual test file within your your vault and if you click on that link what will happen is obsidian will create that file for you let's go ahead and link to a file called page name it's already created and this formatting is pretty straightforward. You can go here to this particular page using this double bracket um, format, but we can get a little bit more granular on the link to get to certain amount, certain data within this particular uh, file or note. Um, before we get to the getting into linking or referencing headings and blocks. Let me also demonstrate that you can also create the alias by using the pipe behind the name of the file. And here you can see in the preview, instead of putting page name, it uses alias. And you can put whatever you want there. Now, if we wanna to get to link to certain uh, headings or blocks within this file as we can see here we can do that as well so we still do the double bracket we'll go name and if we do the hash we can see that as we're presenting presented um, just like before with the actual files that were in our vault we're presented here with the headings within this this document here so we can go ahead and click on that and in the preview, we can see how it kind of reformats that for us. And we can get a preview of this heading. If we click on this, it will take us to the, to the actual page. And you can see how it highlights the heading there. Go back. We can go one step further down in granularity where we can link to blocks. And we can do that by doing hash and then caret symbol. And we're presented with each block of text that's in that document. Now we can see here that I do have some blocks already in this document. Some of these with the are auto created and one of these was manually created. So let me link to the manually created block. What we'll, we can do is we can go into here. It highlights the block that this link uh, references and if we come out of preview we can see in edit mode the caret symbol so behind the actual block of text there's a space the caret symbol 
and then the actual name of the um, of the actual ID or block ID um, for this particular link. Now you can manually put this in, but if you don't manually put it in, as you go through, let's create say this is a block of of text and if we want to come in here and create that link and do page name hash carrot and then we just browse to that there using this particular quick link here and you see it creates that ID so there's no need to manually create this ID anymore. One more thing that we can do with these particular links is you can have these links um, show information or the images in line. So we can do this with the markdown formatting uh, formatted link as well. And we can also do the same thing with the, the wiki link formatted links here as well. So if you want to see the, the linked data in line on this particular page, when you do the preview, just go ahead and put this exclamation mark in front of that link. Now, as you're doing these links and you're linking to other documents, if you open up the backlinks pane, you can see these particular linked mentions um, at the top here. So these will show you all the other pages that are linking to this particular document that you have selected. It will also show any unlinked mentions as well. So the unlinked mentions is really just taking the name of the link and it's doing a search and give, presenting that to you um, underneath this unlinked mentions. And it also gives you the option to create a link using this particular button here. Now, another way to look at the, the links and the references between documents is to go to the graph view. So if we open up the graph view here, let's go ahead and collapse some of these panes. We can see all the link references between the different documents that we have in our vault. Um, we can go through here and you can filter this to make this look a bit more more um, cleaner to you if you need to you can um, add thickness to the lines you can change it so you can see arrows of where the actual links are going and so on and so forth um, you can do you can force this here so that most of the things are more centered or you can even repel force to spread things out a bit you can also drag and drop, drag the, the map around and kind of move it around the way you, you like to. Now, as you hover over these particular nodes within this map, it'll highlight the, the node that you're uh, pointing to or hovering over, and then it'll show you all the links uh, between this node and all the other nodes that have any kind of uh, links and references. If you click on that, it'll also open the note up and then you can either read what you need to edit this here or move on to other linked content from this particular document. So using links within Obsidian is very powerful. It allows you to create this network of knowledge and information. So as you're reading through your content, um, you can easily get to related content um, or references uh, within Obsidian. A another form of linking that you can do within Obsidian, um, you can leverage the core couple core plugins that we have here, and let me see the tag pane and starred. These are not kind of hard links that you would create in your document like we just showed. But what you, if you want to get access to certain information within your vault, you can add tags to the, the documents that you have in there. And any tags 
um, if you enable the tag pane will show up in this tag pane and this is somewhat of a link it's more it's really doing more of a search so as you click on the the tag uh, link basically here what it does is it's, it's a link to a search um, and it searches through the entire uh, vault and then anything with this particular tag shows up and then you can access your data that way you can also star some of your your notes and those starred notes will end up underneath the starred pane and you can use this like favorites so this is another way of creating quote unquote links to certain data okay so i've shown a few different ways that you can leverage links within obsidian also different ways that you can leverage a few of the different plugins that you have in there using tags and also start to create uh, some kind of a quasi linking type system on where you can get to your data and, and kind of retrieve content based on uh, either tags or kind of favorites by starring your your content so that is it for the video today if this was helpful go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel if you have not already if you have thank you and until the next time have a nice day.